Hey everyone, my name is Patricia Kubas Perry. I just go by my maiden name, Kubas. Um, I'm making this little short uh, public service announcement for anyone who has a hypothyroid or hyper or basically any kind of thyroid condition. Um, I was diagnosed with this back at um, the end of December 2009 and I knew something was going on because I felt like I was beaten down like I had the flu or something or I mean I felt like I was dying it was absolutely terrible how I was feeling so you know I followed up and then found out um, which a number of years ago my levels were almost at the range of being um, hypo uh, or hyper, I don't remember what that was, but anyhow, um, and I've had my issues with depression and just really feeling, feeling lousy a lot and for a really long time. So. The latest is when I had my labs done just earlier this week. Today's Thursday, June 7th. Uh, oh, one second. Oh, I sat down on the stove. I had to turn it off. Anyhow, uh, I had the labs done and they came back um, with the reading of, let's see. Um, my TSH is 0 0.04. The normal level is 0 0.30. So mine is really, really off. And my T3 is 78. Now, the normal range is 80 up to um, whatever that chart is. I don't have that right in front of me. But, uh, you know, my I have the... Hashimoto's now my my TPO level what was that oh of course because I can't see without my glasses uh, my TPO was 178 no 160 and the normal for that is zero to thirty that's the normal range but um the the thing is this so many people are truly hypo or hyper with thyroid condition and you know further investigation has to be conducted into this with I would say like the World Health Organization because um, you know I, I don't think the, the levels that they're working with are accurate you know as far as making the diagnoses because like I said for years I've been feeling like crap you know, and, you know, what's the point in having to feel like that? I'm not living in a third world country. I'm here in the grand old USA. I mean, I don't get it. I just don't get it. But anyhow, that's what I am talking about. And if you're not feeling well, get to a doctor and request the TPO. I'm, I've been having this dialogue with a dear friend of mine for several years now and she goes to the doctors and they just do the regular the standard test the TPO tests your antibody you can be within the normal range your TSH and your, your T3 however the TPO can be out of whack and anyhow that's what what um that's what really needs to be done as far as like uh, from a medical medical professionals, doctors, they should do that. That should be like um, mandatory just to do that and just so that people are okay. I mean, why suffer? Oh my gosh, it's terrible. What's been going on with me is that I have very thick, heavy hair. I mean, I just, well, it's not shampooed. I haven't washed my hair in two days because, um, well, I just colored it. But anyhow, um, I've been losing hair I do have a lot of hair but I've been losing hair 
over here on the right side and you know just I, mean, I don't comb my hair like I'm not combing my hair like um, you know thousands of strokes every day but I mean it's just been coming out a lot more so on this side and I've been feeling these hot sensations like feeling like somebody's taking a like a lit cigarette and poking it into my scalp and that's been freaking me out so anyway that's probably because of my thyroid being off and I've been on level thyroxine I started it in December of 09 and um, initially that was 0.25 and I came back in six weeks and then it went up to uh, 0.70 so it's been on I've been on point I'm sorry 0.75 now since um, like early February 2011 and um, so now what the doctor uh, diagnosed she recommended I do is uh, excuse me um, take two 75 milligrams of my level thyroxine twice a week one one only two days per week then don't take any for five days and then start taking one per day so you don't have to do that oh god I don't know I also had um I had the ultrasound because I go for the ultrasound like every six months with my thyroid and there was nothing showing there but I have some other stuff going on because um well I'm really having a hard time swallowing and even like now I have to like kind of shake my head and take these gulps um, I went for a swallow test last year and um, the food was not going down the correct way and the radiologist said something that um, well she said oh that happens as we get older our muscles get lax and I was like okay and I just attributed it to the thyroid but something told me in the back of my head mm, I don't think that that's actually the cause well um, I just found out yesterday that a, a co-worker of my my husband who's deceased now um, he passed away from cancer so anyway I was looking up re researching about esophageal cancer and throat cancer so I have to follow up with that hopefully that's not the case but anyhow I'm getting off point but my message here is to anyone who is not feeling well man, woman, child, you know, get to the doctor and request the, you know, the standard test, but also request the TPO. That's a thyroid protein antibody or thyroid antibody test called TPO. Anyway, um, all right, until next time, see you later. Bye.